The board tonight approved its Rebuilding Stronger plan about an hour ago. It's a story we've been covering for months. Our Rachel Krause has been at the meeting this evening and joins us now. And Rachel, this is a massive overhaul for the district. Yeah, Felicia, big changes are coming for your child's education with the IPS school board voting about an hour ago to approve a massive district reorganization plan that's been called Rebuilding Stronger. So what does this mean for your students? Let's break this all down. They're pivoting away from neighborhood schools with K through 8 students and moving toward dedicated elementary and middle school for students. They will have minimum enrollment numbers in an effort to ensure that there are enough resources and programming available for all students to have the same opportunities. That will also mean closing some schools, six of them chosen based on low enrollment or low facility grade ratings. Now, teachers, parents, even some students have been pretty split on whether or not they were going to support the Rebuilding Stronger plan. Some were very opposed, very concerned about this plan potentially impacting racial inequity across the district even further. Others very excited about the potential for more educational opportunities to expand around IPS. I got the chance to speak with Jack Hesser, vice president of the Indy Education Association and a math teacher with IPS. He says after months of going back and forth with the district over the details, he says he's excited to work with the district about what's next. This is going to be tremendously difficult and that there was going to be no plan that was going to make all of us happy. Certainly there are pieces of this plan that still leave me frustrated, right? But ultimately change is what's needed to make sure our district's moving forward in a positive direction and one that's serving all of our students. So now that Rebuilding Stronger is officially passed, What's next for students? Now, IPS says they are going to be taking steps to work out a timeline for, for the transition, for moving staff, and most importantly, for taking steps to begin the process of asking for the referendum funding they'll need to pay for the Rebuilding Stronger plan. Well, I think, you know, the next several months we will be charged with earning our community support through that effort. Um, you know, I think we are asking our community to make an investment in our students, investment in buildings and facilities that demonstrate the value we have for our kids. Uh, we know that they, they deserve it. We know with the expansion of offerings, with our commitment to want to continue compensation for our hardworking staff, um, I believe that is worthy of the investments. So Rachel, the plan's been approved, the board's voted. When will this go into effect? Well, Felicia, some of these changes are already underway, like staffing operation changes. Some other changes as part of the Rebuilding Stronger Plan, those will take years to fully take effect. For most families around the district, it'll be the start of the next school year where they start to notice most of these changes. Reporting live in Indianapolis, Rachel Prouse, 13 News. So how will IPS pay for this Rebuilding Stronger Plan? The school district will ask voters for help in May. IPS is planning to ask for $800 million in referendum funding over the next several years. So that's $410 million in capital funding and $50 million annually through 2031 to cover things like teacher salaries and educational opportunities for students. IPS estimates it will cost about $6 a month for most homeowners.